The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. <laughs> and I'd like to welcome you to the Monday, October 13th edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just rants with a cup of joe. And today I'm going to rant on a wonderful model I finished up uh, earlier today called the Lego Sandcrawler. And I wanted to give you some more details about this. It comes right from the Lego Star Wars 10-144, 1,670 pieces, sand crawler. It's a very difficult build, part of the original Star Wars trilogy. It has a, a whole boatload of minifigs, including Owen Lair's R2-D2, uh, C-3PO, R5-D4, the what I call the Jawa Gang, <laughs> an ASP droid, uh, a conch droid, a treadrill droid, <laughs> and uh, R1G4. <laughs> I, I mean, they all got names, guys. Uh, but I wanted to kind of show you uh, some of the things that I didn't uh, cover on the uh, on the video that I my main review. The the sand crawler is really big and and of course it's a machine shop for fixing these suckers uh, I believe in the movie R2 uh, or C, uh, C3PO got screwed up and they had to fix them at, at one of these places this machine shop, let me bring it under the light, is really cool it's got a lot of uh, tools and uh, tool holders. It's got a, a a droid in there running the shop. And uh, and let me turn it around. See the tool holders and the kind of spigots there. More spigots. It's just a cool machine shop. Lots of LEDs. Well, I call them LEDs. They're just you know the little lights and there you can see the zoom in on the guy's face inside the uh, mechanism I, I showed it to you but I didn't explain it if you look real I'm going to turn it out here see there's a rack and pinion steering here for the the tracks and uh, if you go to the front, you'll see the, see it's, you turn them, and they turn down here. So that's pretty cool. It's a, a, a massive uh, insides. But you, you would think that maybe the front would open up, but it doesn't. It, it just drops down. This is all connected, guys. See right there, that's a, that's a hinge. So you can't open this up any further than what it is. Um, just like in the movie, quite frankly. The, uh, the controls are floating, and this guy is, uh, they look like monks, don't they? And it's just a simple control, but it, that's where he's running the, he, he's driving the sand crawler. These come off in the in the review. I took one off to let light in, so you could see inside better. Uh, and I I just stuck some of these guys up here. They're they're droids, and and they could have gone uh, below. Let me uh, turn it on its side, so you can see the bottom. This is a huge build see the yellow, see the tracks. There's four tracks but each track has two two separate uh, tread units. Uh, it's a very very finely developed model. Look at the detail here. Look at all that. Isn't that incredible the way they did it? Absolutely stunning uh, model. And the front even, you know, this is the front because he's driving it from these are 
stickers okay and look at the spooky eyes that's, that's kind of weird I particularly like the back and I want to in, in my main review I I did an up close and personal of it just to show it to you because I'm it kind of reminds me like a sewer you know I like sewers <laughs> I like models of sewers guys <laughs> and these little big old pipes are pretty cool see they have all that uh, fancy stuff sometimes when you're building your models uh, you you have a tendency to build a, a pretty nice model and then you you basically fail uh, to, to add detail and detail is what makes the model look at all the trim that 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 is what makes the model in the end and this is so neat because the crane can be on the top and when it when it's on the top then he can uh, let me see if I can hook this he can <laughs> I, I can't hook it he, he I'll hook it if it's on the top then he can he can hook the 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 the, the droids and haul them up into the uh, into the machine shop to get to get repaired for our true D2 <laughs> I think all in all this is one of the better models that I've ever built uh, in my life the manual you would think on a model like this they have th three or four or five manuals but they have just one big old book it's a 96 page manual and I built it as per instructions 100% uh, the only thing I would uh, warn you about if uh, that I, I didn't put them on right away is I forgot to put these stickers on because it wasn't as clear in the instructions but obviously you can see from the pictures that, that that's where they go right there and I, I don't know about you. Uh, I've I, I've grown up with Star Wars. I enjoy the movie. I enjoy the models. I think the Lego Lego models are absolutely stunning. But this one model here is right out of the movie, and it brings back so many fond memories of me personally uh, with with this this particular model. This is a, a great model to build, uh, to enjoy, to to look at, and it's my pleasure to bring it to you Bill and Red and a very very frisky robot signing off wishing you a wonderful day ahead and my robot says sayonara friends sayonara